So regarding this command on Katia v5 imagine and shape. Um, so let's take a look at it. I'm trying to pull from the planes, but my sphere is just moving. It doesn't get shape. How can I solve this issue? Well, from, um, from what I can understand is that you didn't pick the surface that you want to move and the whole, uh, whole sphere was selected. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to go in Katia v5. Let's go to the shape, imagine and shape. And I will define a basic sphere. So maybe just like this, you see that all the elements are selected. So they are all highlighted with red. If I will just go to translation like this, I will be able to manipulate the whole sphere. So you have to select individual surface, so faces in this case for um, for Katia. You will go over here to face selection and you will pick the desired face and after that you will be on translation and you can start and manipulate that, uh, that face. If you want to, you can make multiple selections by holding down uh, shift and in some events Katia will, uh, will do stuff like this, click OK to terminate and it will uh, shut down. So I will just um, start a new Katia session. This is why I imagine an, uh, a shape is not that flexible, let's say in comparison to, to fusion. It's not that stable if you want to modify various aspects in real time and when the software will try to apply those some uh, some problems will uh, occur. You can also go and uh, vertex selection. You can hold down shift to add multiple elements and pick the uh, vertexes associated with this face. And if you're gonna translate those, the same, um, let's say, deformation will be added to the sphere, just like if I will select uh, the whole face over here. Or you can go with uh, edges, so like this, only the top edge. Or I can hold down control and grab multiple edges. The same problem can appear over here with click terminate. If I'm gonna select uh, multiple, something like this, and I wanna move them over there and over there. And sometimes when you undo, that problem can appear. But if you're gonna press enter, that will finish the movement command and you can see that the surface will be better defined. And if I will undo that, I will go back over here. I will pick all those edges, this one and this one as well. You see that now, um, let's say the surface is in preview mode. So we see that it's not um, well defined over here on the profile. It looks uh, very, very polygonalish. But as soon as I will press enter, I will click on that, click on that command and I will have the deformed shape. So I hope that you find this video useful. Also, if uh, I will get additional comments, I will create uh, additional video videos to address those problems. Okay, so thanks for watching and see you again in the next video.